Don't make a move now. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. You know how B-movie aliens are always perplexed by really simple human concepts? Hop in, I'll give you a lift. Lift. That's what Larry Buchanan thinks the Scottish are like. Is it true, Mr. Dean, that Americans go to the picture house more than once a month and spend a lot of time looking at magazines of naked women? Yes. This is the Loch Ness Horror. Nessie is the greatest unsolved mystery of our time. And I don't want to get bogged down in how unlike Scotland this is. Blue Sky, who are you kidding? The young man's right, Jack. Or how the accents are all based around the belief that if you roll your R's enough, it sounds Scottish. Start at the mouth of the river Fairgate. Or the fact that whoever wrote this has clearly never met anyone who's actually Scottish. Never use profanity on the lock. It's bad luck. Seriously, never. But I do think you've got to mention this level of racial stereotyping. But the one that takes the cake is the mad Scotsman of Killy Cranky Island. The idea that north of Hadrian's Wall, time stopped around 1900. Death for the church weddings. A winner girl has devil in it. But at least it's even handed enough to stereotype the English as well. Very shortly, I think we're going to have a sticky wicket when it comes to our commander's long service to the crown. That's exactly what we're all like. I think we better return to the real world. Having shattered the outdated preconceptions of 75% of our audience... Oh, Kathleen, this is no time for your Highland superstition. I'll move on to the film. Shorty, I tell you she's out there. Essie's out there someplace. I bet my last jug of scotch on it. Which is mostly to do with the desperate search to find the Loch Ness Monster. We begged, we borrowed, we stole every piece of gear we could get our hands on. And you ended up with a yellow inflatable dinghy? Isn't it amazing what money can do? Then, when they do find her, she turns out to be a disembodied neck on a pole. <laughs> Now, in fairness, it's hard to realise a good-looking monster on a budget. <laughs> so Buchanan pads out his film with axe murder. <laughs> and a crashed Nazi plane. Did it overshot London with its leaflets? And hit Loch Ness? No wonder they lost the war. Mutterers at the time were desperate for the British. Hitler is savage, you bought attacks. This tedious subplot is explained using the map that he keeps lying around just in case someone asks a question about the events of 35 years ago. Donald Gregory. You know him now as Sir Gregory. That would actually make him Sir Donald. That's peculiar. But I guess that's the sort of mistake you expect from someone who thinks Loch Ness is just past London. What the hell do you mean by that? Uh, for... Maybe I'm letting this stuff cloud my judgment. I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation for everything, but... Maybe if I just looked at the film, I'd see it wasn't all that bad. How do you crazy, man? Huh? But here's the sticky wicket. I can't see what's going on. It'll be light soon. No, it won't. This entire film is bathed in darkness. <laughs> That was Nessie eating someone. I didn't even know he was dead. It's enough out of you. This girl has experienced or seen something very horrible. Then she must have been wearing night vision goggles. Usually when I say a film is hard to watch, I don't mean it literally. So what is the sum of it all? And it's really not worth the effort. You're lying. Especially if you're Scottish. If you've got a film you'd like us to review, leave a comment below. Click here to subscribe, here to see more reviews, or if you'd like to take your chance in the Dark Corners mystery box of death, click down there. I, before I die.